What's up there, tubers? Sports Car Circling here. Um, I don't know, it's 8 o'clock in the morning. Uh, here. Uh, went to opening night of the Tucson Padres. Uh, obviously, it's a AAA affiliate of um, the San Diego Padres. Had a great night. Um, IP autographs. Um, you know, whether I got cards signed, um, I got a program, I got some custom pictures signed, um, and then at the end, I've got something very special to me, and I'm glad I got it signed. So, here, yeah, we'll start here um, with the cards. We got Matt Clark. Manager and former player, Terry Kennedy. Rookie card, Blake Tacody. Yes, that's how you should pronounce his last name. Tacody. Blake Tacody. Bob Skube. He is the hitting coach. Athletic trainer, Wade Yamasaki. And pitcher Colt Hines. So those are the cards. I'm waiting for the new ones to come out because these ones are last year's. Um, put it in perspective. Oh, let me see. All right. So from going from this, that's how many are on the team. That's who's not on the team. And they either got traded, uh, actually, and some of them got sent down, uh, but most of them actually got pulled up. So, including Mr. Kyle Blanks. But, anyway. Uh, so, it did well on the cards. Um, now we're going to go to my customs and to help me out, I wrote down who signed my customs. Let's see here. Let's see. Beamer Weems. Right there. Let's see, there's my customs. It got cut off right here. But you know what? I still got the fryer. I'm happy. It says Padres, San Diego Padres. But that's my custom. I'm going to end up fixing it to where it moves up a little bit, but I really like it. Uh, so here's another. Wait. Which one am I showing you? Okay. So another Blake Dakota. Uh, Josh Spence again at the custom next uh, guess I didn't write his name down but Yasmani Grandel he is a top prospect. Uh, that's the reason why he's in AAA. Um, oh, uh, he's got tremendous power. Last night he almost hit three home runs. When I say almost, he got to the warning track and dropped. So, but, you know, is what it is. Vince Belno. I have reason to believe that's it. Yep. Um, just by blank. But those will be filled up. I gotta get more. But me and my trusty IP little thing. Alright. So that's that. Now we're gonna get to the good stuff here. Um 
So he's currently on the disabled list. Uh, I don't remember for what for. Uh, but uh, anyway, slow roll it. Oh, there's nothing there. Oh, wait, it's over there. Huh? All right. Jeff Supon. Um, he's on the DL. Uh, sundown, you know, so that way you can start rehabbing it. Uh, I'm not exactly what for. But, oh, you just saw a knob. So, I go into the team shop. And in the team shop, they sell um, game used bats. Uh, majority of them are broken. Now, normally when you go to a baseball game, say you go to, you know, a Diamondbacks or, or you know, for you guys back, you know, back east, you know, you got the Red Sox and the Yankees. The Mets, um, their team shop, they're going to spend over $100. I got this for $25. It's got the tape. There's a knob. There's that. But anyway, long story short. Well, there you go. Louisville Slugger. Make a long story short. I bought it. They... And then they wouldn't give it to me until after the game. So, eighth inning, I was like, you know what, screw it. I'm like, I'll just go in there, get the bat, say I'm leaving, and don't leave. So I grab it. Then I go down to the tunnel where they're going to exit the field. Sat down, you know, talked to a guy. Uh, he was drafted uh, to the Red Sox. And uh, when he was a uh, senior in high school, he got drafted. Um, then he got into a, a car accident where a motorcycle hit his driver door and basically destroyed his left arm, which was his throwing arm. They drafted him because back then, you know, as well as people may know, left-handed people don't uh, grow on trees. But anyway, uh, I'm rambling, I'm rambling. Anyway, so the players are coming by, players are coming by, and Jeff Supon. He's not signing for people. And I got the program signed by um, him before the game. Well, he's walking and he's talking to one of the players. And they're joking around and stuff like that, but he wouldn't sign for people. And, I mean, there was, like, uh, old timers, you know. They've got a baseball that has all the autographs from um, the 2006 uh, – uh, Cardinals team and oh and then you know just card his rookie cards and stuff like that I mean there's a ton of people I go down there and he's you know of course you know he put his hand up like he's not signing I went to the tunnel entrance right there and I asked I was like Jeff can you please sign my bet and he said yeah no problem so he Put his hand up, grab the bet. As he's signing it, I asked him, I said, can you put one of your best achievements on the bet? And he asked me, he looked up at me, looked into my eyes and asked, am I the only one that's going to sign this bet? And I said, yes. Well, this is what he inscribed. Slow roll it. So there it is. Jeff Supon, NLCS, MVP, 2006. Now, yes, granted, it looks nice. Should it have been gold? Yes. Why is it in silver? Because I like silver. And that's the only... I had that and blue and black. Black would not look good. Blue wouldn't look good, I don't think. Silver... Looks pretty spiffy. But just looks clean, looks beautiful. Um, he thought about signing it there. But to make the bat look presentable, and I'm going to put it, I said, I'm going to put it on my bat rack. There you go. Sorry for making the video long, guys. But, you know, had to share my moment. 
Anyway, guys, have a good one.